we have already seen how environmentalist perspective, innateist approach, and interactionist pr approach actually have their advantages and disadvantages for reading. We have looked at some of the debates going on, how um, actually the environmentalist lay emphasis on habit formation, interact, uh, innateist look at what's going on in the minds of the reader, interactionist, how the context, the culture plays uh, play their roles, actually. So what's, what's communicative competence? Now look at reading within communicative per approach or perspective and who are the key figures out there. Himes, 1971, saw language in its social context. That language is doesn't exist in isolation. Rather, it's influenced by its socio-cultural norms. And I saw that grammatical competence is all the more important to understand the given text. And it was Canel and Swain. And so in, in developing reading skill, communicative competence, I mean the linguistic competence, the rules of the grammar or the vocabulary, uh, the semantic, the competence at the sentential level, the meanings, and the uh, pragmatic contextual competence, how uh, different cultures have viewed text differently. So they all actually paved the way for communicative competence. So they see reading as a discourse level. I mean, it's, it's the relationship, it's the link. They draw the link between the reader and the writer. And we have to see it from linguistic perspective to not only understand the meaning, but also the rules and become strategic in terms of deciphering what's going on and pragmatic and in intercultural competence. So it, it was, it, it's considered to be quite tricky, like reading is not only, not to be seen as model or behavior formation, or it, it, it shouldn't be seen merely as, you know, mentalist activity or interactionist, rather it should be communicative. I mean, when we are training our students to develop reading habits, we need to train them, become proficient in linguistic, semantic, pragmatic, uh, and intercultural. So for example, different discourse markers have dif their own influence or their own significance. And there, is re there could be reading passages which are formal, which are informal. So we need to make our students identify these, uh, these things and how politeness actually theory uh, is, plays its role actually. So how and why discourse features are used. What's, what's the purpose? Why the writer is making the use of uh, some important discourses? So. In this regard, it's the reader who becomes active, actually. So reading within communicative framework lays emphasis on developing linguistic, semantic, pragmatic, and intercultural competence of students.